Previously on Balls. Gentlemen, in the studio now, Mr. Matthew Patterson, who played last night in Vitz's 1 0 epic 1 0 win over the University of Pretoria. Um, Matthew Patterson, also, if I can just on a personal note say that Matthew Patterson, to give you a signal of how good these sportsmen are, right? I was always a I was always a second best sportsman, I'm afraid. Matthew played golf with us two weeks ago. He'd never played a full golf course before. He's left-handed. We've been on the driving range a few times. I know Zane Musa wants to learn from you now. His first ever hole of golf on a proper golf course, Matthew Patterson s uh, fired a birdie on the first at Irene, which is a very long par four, wayward drive, chipped on, putted in. He birdied the first ever hole of golf he's ever played. Anyone that's a golfer will know that's stupid, that's impossible, but Matthew, that's what Matthew Patterson does. That's how he plays. The wonderful Matthew Patterson. Matthew, how you doing, mate? Hi, Neil. Uh, good to be on your show. Yeah. And uh, very happy with my first first birdie on the on the course. Can't can't <laughs> complain. Can't <laughs> complain. Um, and hope hopefully many more. Yeah, and happy with Vitz last night. Yeah, it was a great result. Um, yeah, we as a t yeah as a team we, we, were, we were good last night. We um, yeah, we dominated from from start to finish, uh, passed the ball well, and even when we, when we went down to ten men, you know we we were even better. I think uh, passing the ball, we kept it well. We you know we spread it about, and you know great result in the end, considering obviously going down to ten men. Absolutely, mate. I'm just uh, I grew up in the south in Alberton, um, yeah. and moved back to the UK with my parents in '98. So. I sort of I had my teenage years in the UK, hmm. so I look at myself as a bit of a, a bit of a South African, a bit of a Geordie. So yeah, a Geordie, Geordie for for you guys Geordie listening. South African, yeah. That's Newcastle guys, where the coal mines used to be once in the good old days, um, and and then you played for Newcastle. And you were uh, under a, a, some pretty good, interesting managers. How yeah. Tell us about your Newcastle career, please, Matty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, st I started when I was 14 there, um, signed as a, as a YTS, which is a, obviously a apprenticeship. Yep. Um, worked myself through through the ranks up until 17, 16, 17. Made my debut at 17 years old under under Bobby Robson at Celtic Park, uh, which was which was brilliant. Yeah. Um, played with a host of host of quality quality players at that time. Um, so yeah, then obviously played. Got two bad knee injuries, um, kept me out for nearly two years, um, and then came back. Played obviously played quite a quite a bit in the first team, and then then moved on to Norwich through through lack of f first team football. Yes. Uh, then spent two two years at Norwich City, um, which was a lot a, lo a lot better for me. Played a lot lot of games in the first team, and then came to South Africa trying trying to get in the 2010 World Cup. Uh, so I, I signed for Sundowns. Which yes. You know, which I I well two two and a half great great years at Sundowns. Yeah, I saw you playing for Sundowns briefly during the World Cup. There was a great semi final down against Amazulu in Durban, and uh, you played your heart out. And I think you got done on penalties, didn't you? Yeah, we got done on penalties, and uh, I missed the first one. Uh, you know, I was full of confidence. Um, had played very well in the tournament, and then <laughs> stepped up for the first one and, and missed it. So didn't get off to a great start. But uh, yeah, we we ended up going out that night. Uh, when you play of the player of the Ned Bank Cup that year was it? Yeah, it was, yeah, you were, it was yeah. that that was a Ned Bank tournament. I got play, play the year that, that, that year. Yeah. Uh yeah, it was it was a bitly disappointing. Um obviously getting beat off Amazulia at that time because I mean we we dominated the game. Uh you know, we were far far superior and we, we ended up getting beaten and then I think Vitz went on to win that that year actually. Uh I think they beat Amazulu three three nil in the final. In the final if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken. In Soweto, just before the World Cup kicked off, wasn't yeah. it? When all those interesting rugby games were going on in Soweto at the same time. Was, there was one day where I think there was the wasn't it the super the super final, super rugby final and your Ned Bank Cup final was um Amazulu and Vitz was the same same day. And yeah, it was I think quite it was, an interesting, yeah, interesting yeah. drive into Soweto that day for me. <laughs> from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Radio like you've never seen it before. Balls.co.za